front springs on a Mustang. Not fun. Rears, easiest kick. Front, pain in the ass. But much, much, much easier if you buy the special tool. And let me tell you, buy it, buy it. It's not that expensive. Put it in your toolbox. It's 15 bucks, Maximum Motorsports. I'll put the link in the description. There's a couple of videos on YouTube about this already. By using this tool, there's already a couple of videos on YouTube about doing this improperly, uh, i.e. late model restoration, Eric the car guy. This is the proper way to do it. Do your research, for, do your research first, folks. Uh, first, I'll show you how it's installed. See how it's got that little lift there? That's gonna help hold the spring in as we put it in. Gotta get the alternator on that car fixed. All right, so I took the tire rod off to make this easier because you'll see it'll bottom it out about there. Also, I loosened my control arm bolts. It helps the control arm swing all the way down. Also, obviously, undid my sway bar link, putting it back together right now. Don't want to lose any of these pieces. All right. I actually uh, took this car to a professional performance shop a couple years ago to get this done. After a couple days, they gave me the car back. I gave up. They couldn't figure it out. Do your research. So I figured it out. Bought the tool. So, the pigtail's going to be on the bottom, obviously. Um, I'm not going to get too in-depth here. I'm just going to show you how to use it. I'm going to... Perch first, like that, and then we're gonna slide it over our tool. Boom, folks, that's it. Done, in, okay? No hammers, no zip tying bull crap. That's how you're supposed to do it. We're gonna have to get our pigtail lined up. We'll focus more on that in a minute. Now oh, that ball joint's all torn up. Gonna have to do that soon. Old cars, always need work. Unfortunately, when I took it to that shop, one of their attempted things was uh, they uh, loosened my control arm bolts up and tried to drop the control arm. But the spring pressure is so high on these cars in the front that if you try to put a uh, like a hoist jack under it. Yeah. These cars will lift themselves off the lift. So you try to put a jack under this control arm to hold this, hold the hold the control arm to lo slowly lower it, which is what he was trying to do. Um, you will find that the car will just start coming up and start coming up. All right, this was a bad idea. I'm gonna put the jack under the center part. Let's try that. Okay, now it's gonna be time to look at that pigtail and get it in the perch. See if it's lined up. That looks like it's gonna be pretty good. Maybe. Huh? Keep going up. Wow, I can feel, I can feel how tight that spring is already. All right, let's look at the pigtail again. Oh no, it's going a little sideways. Let's see if we can move that around. Okay. Oh, too tight now. Even with the tool, this is a bit of a pain. Pigtails. Anything without a McPherson strut is, seems like infant, in ancient technology nowadays. Yeah. Places like LMR are just trying to sell you products. They are not proper how, -to, how to's. Some of it's alright. Some of the engine stuff is okay, I've seen it. 
Nothing really brilliant though. And if you're curious, since I'm actually kind of finicky about this sort of thing, I like to use the service manual. Um, what the service manual says is to use a, uh, a spring compressor that uses a plate here and a plate here and a bolt goes all the way through and it tightens the spring this way and the compressor goes through that hole in the bottom. Good luck finding that tool. Uh, actually the Haynes manual does that as well. Come on now, come on. Give it a shot. Woo! See, it just, uh, what happened is it just popped off the Maximum Motorsports tool and it popped into its perch. Make sure everything looks okay. Let's check the tool, or let's check the, uh, Pigtails, yeah, that's going in. Perfectly. Boy, these things are tight. And they're so tight is because they're putting it in the middle of the control arm. If they put it here, it didn't, wouldn't have to be as tight because of physics. But because it's in the middle here, it's gotta be super, super tight. Oh. Starting to lift the car up, and we're good to go. Now what I'm going to do is probably um, get that shock in there, and then put my swivel bar link back on, put the tire back in, big caliper, all that sort of stuff, and we'll be good to go. You've seen the important part, the tool. and uh, I can easily take it out by hand now, no problem. Very clever. Thank you, Maximum Motorsports. All right, I'll see you guys later. I showed you what I want to show you. So sorry, one more critical item, getting the spring out. What you do to do that, is duck and cover. And I don't really mean that's kind of joking, but kind of not joking at the same time. I find that uh, in my few that I've done, I haven't done this that many times, in the few that I've done, uh, the spring usually is not so tight that it's insanely dangerous to just lower the, lower the uh, jack. But don't be standing here, be standing over here. But the toolbox could hurt, not you. Um, what I found with the ones I've done, it will get to a point where it will just kind of go ping and pop out and tap on the knuckle, but uh, it didn't come flying out. Um, if you uh, are worried about it, you can get a spring compressor in there. You can get it in there. Uh, it'll be very, very tight. The rods of the spring compressor will be actually touching the, the edges of the control arm, but uh, I've done it in the past. You'll only put that compressor on when it's about to come out, so that's kind of where it's an issue because you've already got to have the spring very far lower before you can do that. So if you do, I put that spring compressor on quickly and then back out of the way and lower it down. Just an idea. It's going in that's the problem. <laughs>